Here are some of the successful traits that you need to have to be successful in the stock market. This is not an inclusive list, and if people enjoy this video, I'll be sure to share more of my traits that I think you need to be successful in the market. The good news is if you think you are deficient in one of these areas, you can always work on it and try to improve. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel to keep getting alerted when I post a new video. So let's get into it. What's the first trait for a successful investor? That would be patience. I cannot tell you how many times a new investor goes out there, maybe watches a movie like Wolf of Wall Street, and expects to be rich overnight. Not even the greatest investors of all time, like Benjamin Graham or Warren Buffett, become wealthy in a short amount of time. I can assure you that time in the market beats timing the market. Just like Rome wasn't built in one day, your portfolio won't make you a millionaire either. But if you diligently continue to invest over the long term into good companies, I have no doubt that you too can be a stock market millionaire. What's the second trait? That would be not blindly following others. Every few months or so I hear about this can't miss stock that you have to buy right away and it will make you rich and that you can quit your job and retire on an island somewhere. Well guess what? Always happens is that this stock will rise like a rocket ship because of all this artificial value people pump in into this particular stock and then this will cause it to eventually crash when people realize it's a bubble and it can't be sustained because it didn't have any real value to justify its high price. This is exactly what happened with Bitcoin. People just blindly followed others thinking this was a get rich scheme without knowing what Bitcoin really was. You need to always do your own research and find out if a stock is the right option for you and not to follow the herd. You can use others opinions as a starting point but you need to be the one that ultimately makes the final decision based on what is right for you. The third trait is always learning. Building off our last point, an investor like Warren Buffett will spend hours reading the company 10k report to make sure they are knowledgeable about the company business model, financial health, growth options for the future, risk, competitors, ability of management to properly handle money. These are some of the steps I take when examining a stock to add to my portfolio. If I want to continue to add to this position later on, I will restart my research process to make sure all of these boxes are still checked. And I may even sell position if I don't feel optimistic about the stock in the long term in case any of the fundamentals change. A good investor also looks back on some of the bad investments that they have made so he, makes sure that he or she can make sure they learn from their mistakes and knows what to avoid for next time. And what is the last trait that I think a successful investor needs? That would be taking calculated risk. In order to take in order to make money on your investments, you almost always have to take some level of risk to make that money. The lower the risk, the lower the reward. The higher the risk, the higher the reward. Of course, this doesn't mean just throw all your investments into risky situations because companies can definitely go broke very quickly depending on how the economy is doing or how they have allocated the resources. Only risk what you would be comfortable with losing. Speculative plays should make up a smaller percentage of your portfolio than some of the other investments such as bonds or blue chip dividend stocks. If you're in your 20s or 30s, which most of you watching this video are, you can take a bit more risk because you still have many more working years to gain that money back in case you get, lose it. And the closer you are to retirement, you should be more focused on bonds and blue chip stocks with established records. You shouldn't be going out there trying to find the next Google or Amazon because you won't have enough time to make that money back in case it goes wrong. So these are just four quick traits I think you need to be successful in the stock market. There are so many more and if you guys request in the comments that you want to see more of this, I'll be sure to make more of these. The best part is that you can always work on these skills, even if you feel like you don't have them established just yet. If you disagree with any of these, let me know as well, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys.